No, no, losing streak, family, wife, then, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. oh, guys, guys, this is not Pakistan versus India, it's not a cricket match, please, please, and then you go out and you tweet to the heavyweight champion of the world, what is wrong with you, mate, what is wrong, you go out and you tweet to the heavyweight champion of the world that he can have your leftovers, oh, I don't know. They say it was pe people saying it was fixed. People saying it was fixed, but you know that's some um, that that's some deep shit. Yeah, you know Amir Khan has had some issues. You know we got knocked out by um Canelo. He had that um that video released where you know he was spanking off of some shit. Um, he had the hand issues. He had some issues with his wife and his family. You know his wife beefing with his family. And um, he solved all that, you know? And so now it's first fight back, three-fight deal with uh, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn. And um, in my opinion, I think Eddie Hearn, look at Eddie. I think Eddie Hearn put this together, man. I think he put it together, you know? Just like when um, uh, David Higgins, the promoter of Joseph uh, Parker, said that Eddie Hearn basically, you know, I'm paraphrasing, told him he wanted him to go hard on Anthony Joshua. So I'm thinking, you know, Eddie Hearn seems like the type of guy that he'll go to Phil LaGreco without Amir Khan knowing and say, hey, listen here, mate. You know, I want you to talk about his wife, talk about how he talked that shit about AJ and everything. And he'll go to Amir Khan and say, hey, listen, you're going to knock him the fuck out. You know, he just seems like he's the type of guy to play both fields. But this does, it, it, it does seem a little scripted. You know, look at Amir Khan, for example. You went on a losing streak, family wife then wait wait a minute wait a minute wait. oh guys guys this is not pakistan versus india it's not a cricket match please please and then you go out and you tweet to the heavyweight champion of the world what is wrong with you mate what is wrong you go out and you tweet to the heavyweight champion of the world that he can have your leftovers i think i don't know man I don't know. It seems I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem genuine. But whatever the case may be, you know, I think it's going to put it this way. Phil Greco is slow. Um, but here's the thing about Amir Khan. <laughs> Any, anybody can knock Amir Khan out, you know, as we've seen. You know, like if his chin is touched in 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 in, in certain spots, multiple spots, he can go down. But he doesn't lose too many rounds on the cards. He can outbox any fighter. You know, he is good. He's sharp. 31-4 with 3K. Well, 31-4, 19 KOs. He's been stopped three times. First, the British Prescott. You know, as you know, Canelo Alvarez and Danny Garcia. Now, since then, if you look, he's had, you know, a lot of inactivity. For example, when he steps back into the ring, it'll be a 23-month um, layoff since he fought Canelo. So the Phil Greco fight is on April the 21st in um, the Echo Arena in Liverpool. And then before that, he had a year layoff when he fought Chris Algieri. So let me put on full screen for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Right? So he was doing pretty good um, in 2014 all the way up to the midway point of um of um 2015 now if you look between julio diaz and luis Colazo, there's a year layoff between 30 2013 and 2014 then in 2014 he had the luis Colazo devin alexander fight two fights then in 2015 now this was um um just six months later he fought chris algeri then had a long layoff a year layoff we fought so canelo alvarez got knocked out and now almost a two-year layoff you see what I'm saying? And he's getting up there now. Amir Khan is what? Um, 32 now? You know, he'll be 30. He turned 32 in um, December, it says. So, you know, he's getting no wait. He turned 31 in September, right? Yeah, 31 in September. So, you know, he's in his 30s now. Even though I don't feel that, you know, um, being 31 or 32 is now old in boxing, he's saying that he only has a few fight left. So this contract that he has with Matchroom Promotions could be his last contract. So the way it's looking is that he's going to fight Phil LaGreco, and then sometime in between one or two fights, he's supposed to fight Kell Brook, even if they do, you know, a um, um, two fights. But I've been listening to a lot of fans and reading a lot of comments of both Amir Khan and Kell Brook, and people feel that the fight is just 
too late, especially since Kell Brook lost to Errol Spence and lost to um, Golovkin, whatever the case may be. They feel that it's just not a big fight anymore. I was asking, can Khan, you know, let's say, for example, if Khan wins his fight against Phil LaGreco, and then you have um, um, Kell Brook fighting, I think, March the 3rd, if I'm correct, against um, Sergey Rabchenko, can both of these guys sell out Wembley at like 70000 like it was said they could have two, three years ago? You know, that's the question. Let's go look at Phil LaGreco, by the way. If you don't know, he fought Sean Porter. And um, he also fought um, Errol Spence on like two days notice. I forgot what card this was. Was this Porter? What card was this? It was a PBC on Fox Sport. It's a PBC on NBC Sports card. It was Broner versus Sean Porter. He fought on that card. Now, he had fought Sean Porter um, earlier in his career. I mean, early before he fought Errol Spence, what, in 2013? So in May of 2013, he fought Sean Porter, and then two years later, on a two um, over uh, just 25 months later, on two days' notice, he stepped in to fight Errol Spence. I forgot who Errol Spence was supposed to fight that um, that pulled out of the fight at the last minute. I forgot, you know. And as you can see, you know, he's only been stopped at one time. He's got a modest KO record with the 15 KOs, um, 28 wins, but he's, you know, I mean, it's like this: he's not that good. But he, when it comes to Amir Khan, anybody can beat Amir Khan. You know, we've seen it. You know, a lot of people were surprised Amir Khan got past Luis Colazo. You know? Just my personal opinion. But the fight is picking up some steam. I doubt that they're going to do any more real promotion after this point. We also got some um, some good content um, from our colleagues over in the UK, the sportsmen who covered the press conference today. Um, from Phil LaGreco and Amir Khan. I'm going to upload those a little later on, but it's getting past my bedtime here, and I got I ain't take my nap today. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.